attracting kind of a neat way to for others to showcase their talents. I think it's great. Yes, yes that's thank great. You. And are you still involved with producing music? Yes, I still work with artists. Um, okay. I, like I said, I, I help develop a lot of local up, up and coming artists. So, All right, and um, music and that sort of thing? Yes, R&B, pop, hip hop, whatever it is you may do if you need, you know, um, any artists who need work. Yeah. Um, you can contact me as well at teameverlast at gmail.com. All right, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So now we have, I'm going to have you, this is very exciting now because we're going to, um, we're going to move to the portion of the program where we have a dance performance and it's yes. going to be to my opening song number. <laughs> I've never <laughs> had anyone dance to that and I'm so excited. So Benson, um, we're going to see you at the end of the show anyway, okay. but I want you to tell us about this um, performer. This yes, dance to um, my it's my, it's my okay. pleasure to introduce to you all one of our competitors at the dance, at the It Factor Dance Competition. He's a very talented dancer. He goes by the name He's going by the name Snoopy. Snoopy, that's the name. That's so his name. <laughs> please come support him on November 30th at Art Night Club. All right? Snoopy is just. Is he in the competition? He's in the competition, yes. Okay. He is in the okay, competition. Okay, that's good. Okay. Darnell so Snoopy Brown. Snoopy, Stay thanks yours. for dancing to my <laughs> song. And we'll be talking to him right after the dance. Snoopy. Thank you so Thank you much. So oh my much. gosh. Thanks for coming on the show. No problem. Thanks for dancing for us. Absolutely. So tell us about your experience with the It Factor dance competition. Um, Have you been doing the music <coughs> showcase or just the dance? Strictly music. Okay. Uh, strictly dancing, sorry. Strictly <laughs> dancing. And you did a great job Thank on the you. fly. We, we had music uh, for him and he pulled it off. So thank, thank you, you so thank much. You that so was much. awesome. That was awesome. So you, this is your first round in the competition, so where have you done them? This is my first competition. Okay. Ever. Okay. All right, what's your background? Uh, my background is dancing. Okay. I've been dancing for about eight years. All right. Um, started with typical hip hop, street right. freestyling in your house, watching You Got Serve, all the dance videos and all dance right. movies, Michael and Jackson. And you copy th what they're doing, right, right. And where are you from? I'm from Boston, originally okay, from Dorchester. All right, very good. And so how did you hook up with this competition? It's funny. Um, I was uh, on my way to teach class, and I seen a flyer like on the pole, and it said It Factor. And at first, I thought it was a, another like nightclub or club promotion for some right. uh, artists. And I looked at it, and it said dance competition. And then it said like $2,000 in like big numbers. Right. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Oh no, I got to sign up for this. So as soon as I seen it, like yeah. I signed up for it. But prior to that, somebody actually tagged me to a flyer on Facebook. Oh, okay. And that's what really got me yeah. going. Yeah, because somebody's encouraging you mm -hmm. to go out and do it. And what have you liked about the competition so far? Um, so far, the competition, it's allowed me to grow even higher than what I thought I can grow. Right. Um, I like to perform. I, I know a few of a few of my friends are in the competition, so it's pretty much a friendly atmosphere. Yeah. And we still encourage each other to do everything and you know, we're at the end of their performance, we're like, that was dope performance, yeah, you know. So right. it's always, you know, building upon each other, helping each other out. But I enjoy it because I really have a passion for entertaining a crowd and right. you know, bringing an audience towards me so I can say, Here's my story. Yeah. Hopefully you understand it. Hopefully right. you get the message. And Hopefully you, do it you enjoy it. Through your dance and your song, and um, so tell me, are you, are you dancing by yourself when you're on the competition? Yes. So solo. how is that? Like, so you change it up every time you get through to the next round? Um, every time I do a performance, because I, I am I am in a group, but I do solo work. 
And it's a little bit difficult because sometimes when you have the group teams that are dancing, they can use up the full length of their time. Right. But with me or with other people that do solos, we have to kind of create a story so we're not one, you know, stamina wise, we're not tired. Right. And right. we're still able to execute a good performance. So Right. So do you get a lot of practice time in, I'm sure you all the, the time. time for it. All and, the time and all that. All the time. No, like, that's I'm, great. I'm actually really excited for uh, the thirtieth and then the next show because I have a uh, two uh, concepts in mind. All right, so you're already thinking ahead mm -hmm. to the next. So as I asked Benson, tell me your thoughts. You got, you kind of saw the poster and it drew you in. How would you encourage someone to go and follow their passion, say dancing or painting or, or whatnot? Um, I'm actually reading a book by uh, Julia Cameron and it's called Artist's Way, and it really explains. Oh, great, that's a good Great one. book, that's right? That's a good one, yeah. Um, it really explains the, the background of, you know, going for whatever artistic talent you have, whether it be dancing, acting, playing an instrument, you know, painting. And it, it kind of brings you, it brings your inner, it's in the book it says inner artist or your inner child out, which lets you grow because I feel, this is my theory, I feel like we live in two different lifestyles. We have our regular lifestyle, right. like I'm 22 of years of age yeah. and I have eight years of dancing. Right. So me being 22 is gonna be the big brother and my eight year old self is gonna be the little brother and I'm right. always gonna You're try to- You're encouraging that self within exactly. you. Well, you are very mature for your 22 <laughs> Thank years. Thank you. I think he is, I think he is. So Benson, come back in. And so what I, what I do with all my guests is, um, and I tell them out here, is I encourage um, you to reach out to me um, on the All Friends Cabaret, right? Because did you have a good time? All oh, yeah, that's good. Yes. I like that. Do that again. <laughs> um, no, we had a really good time here tonight. And um, what I encourage you to do is think about the talents that you have to share, um, anything that you, um, even raising funds for that you can come on and share your story with me. So what's fun is, I think that I'm gonna be involved with the it factor, yes, possibly yes, as judging, judging yes. you all out there. <laughs> and so I'm so glad to meet you, Benson. Thank you, a Our guests will really enjoy the show. You. And thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time on the All, all Friends right. Cabaret. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, this was so fun. <laughs> thank, you. Awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> I can show you a movie.